The James Webb Space Telescope has captured the most precise picture of interstellar object 3i, Atlas. Its chemistry seems foreign, its path unbound, and its behavior unlike anything else we've seen before. This is our sharpest look yet at something that originated outside the solar system. Webb's first look at 3i, Atlas, what we saw on August 6, 2025. The James Webb Space Telescope locked onto an interstellar object unlike anything seen before. Using its near-infrared spectrograph NearSpec, Webb delivered not a blur but a high-resolution image revealing a sharply defined nucleus enveloped in a coma rich with gas and dust. But it was the chemistry that stunned astronomers. Water did not dominate the coma, as is typical for comets. Instead, it was primarily carbon dioxide. Webb measured ACO to H-CHO ratio of nearly 8 to 1, among the highest ever recorded. The 3i Atlas was reclassified solely by this as chemically exotic. Traces of carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide, and carbonyl sulfide OCS were also found. However, water vapor was suppressed, possibly buried beneath dust or shielded within its structure. The directional activity of the emissions made things even stranger. The gas escaped predominantly toward the sun, hinting at focused outgassing rather than random sublimation. All this at a distance of 3.3 astronomical units, still cold by solar standards, showed that 3i Atlas was active well before typical sublimation thresholds. Because of its infrared sensitivity, Webb could distinguish individual emissions, mapping the spatial concentration of CO, HO, and dust. What once would have appeared as a hazy speck now revealed textured, directional plumes, contours, and fine structure. These details help scientists decode both the surface composition and the thermal dynamics of the object. This wasn't just a better view, this was a paradigm shift. Webb transformed a brief interstellar comet into a chemical and structural profile, permanently stored at the top clarity ever achieved for an object not from our system of stars. This clarity also began raising new, deeper questions. What Webb's instruments uncovered wasn't just surprising, it was unheard of. While most solar system comets release HAO as their dominant volatile 3 I, Atlas released CO in massive excess. An 8 to 1 COH Cho ratio is not just uncommon, it challenges the very assumptions behind comet chemistry and formation zones. This suggests 3 I, Atlas may have formed beyond the CO ice line in its home system, a region far colder than the ones that produce typical comets. Alternatively, its subsurface water ice could be buried under a crust blocking sunlight from triggering sublimation. In either case, the structure or environment was alien to our knowledge. Webb also detected minor volatiles like carbon monoxide and carbonyl sulfide, which serve as clues to thermal and radiation history. Even possible isotopic signatures, such as carbon-13 in CO, were tentatively identified. Though interpretation is complicated by dust interference, these spectral fingerprints were recorded at precise infrared wavelengths, 4.3 micrometers for CO, 2.7 micrometers for HCHO. The instrument's resolution allowed astronomers to differentiate between overlapping emissions and track outgassing jets in relation to the nucleus solar angle. This helped them build models for thermal conductivity, layered sublimation, and rotational dynamics. But perhaps most important was what these results suggested. Either 3i Atlas was born from an entirely different recipe of solar system formation, or the rules of ice sublimation and outgassing we've relied on for decades are far more variable than expected. Webb's data now enables comparisons between local comets and interstellar ones and opens the door to testing whether elements like CO dominance are galactic norms or local exceptions. The clearest image of an interstellar object ever just became the most chemically rich, and that shifts this story from observation to revolution. Before Webb, interstellar objects were glimpsed in fragments, fuzzy tales, unresolved nuclei, chemical guesses. But now, with 3i Atlas, the veil has lifted. What the James Webb Space Telescope delivered wasn't just a photo. 
It was a microscopic scan of a ghost from another star system. The image revealed a sharper-than-ever nucleus encased in an asymmetrical coma glowing with thermal emissions. Its dust structure and gas plumes were mapped with remarkable clarity. Infrared capabilities made this possible. Contrary to visible light, web-based telescopes peer into wavelengths that detect heat, molecular vibration, and chemical fingerprints. Sensors uncovered distinct areas of the coma pockets where CO emission peaked, regions with more dust, and shadows where HO trailed behind. All this was observed from over 3.3 astronomical units away. At that distance, it's still cold to frigid for conventional comet models to fully explain such activity. What stunned researchers were the coma's asymmetries. Gas and dust weren't uniformly distributed. The side facing the sun showed bright plumes, while the opposite side remained subdued. These irregularities weren't just aesthetic quirks. They hinted at an internal structure that varied dramatically perhaps surface vents or deep compositional zoning in the nucleus. The boundary between nucleus and coma was also more defined than expected. Instead of blending gradually, Webb's resolution revealed a clear transition zone, probably shaped by sublimation in a small area or sudden exposure of volatiles. This structure challenged assumptions that coma formation is always gradual and symmetrical. Crucially, the signal-to-noise ratio remained high despite the faintness of the object and its great distance. That alone is a testament to Webb's engineering, ensuring that even slight changes in brightness, jet activity, and spectral lines could be tracked with confidence. In practical terms, what was once a mysterious streak on a sky chart became a chemical map with measurable dimensions. Furthermore, it shifted the discussion from what is this thing, to where did it originate, and why does it act so differently from everything we know. While its structure tells us what it's made of, its motion tells us where it doesn't belong. From the moment 3i, Atlas entered detection range, it stood out not because of brightness but because of its path. This didn't loop like a comet bound to the sun. Its orbit was hyperbolic, with an eccentricity well over one proof that it's not part of our solar system and never was. Traveling at over 130,000 miles per hour, 3i, Atlas slices through the solar system at an angle of just 5 above the ecliptic plane, moving retrograde against the planet's direction of motion. Such trajectories are uncommon. Most interstellar objects arrive at steeper inclinations, entering from above or below. But 3i, Atlas approached almost edge-in, as if selecting a route that passes close to multiple planets and it will. Its anticipated course brings it near Mars in October, skims past Venus, crosses Earth's orbital plane, and then swings by Jupiter before being ejected back into deep space. That sequence of near encounters non-impacting but aligned is statistically unlikely for a random object. It's not enough to prove intent, but it raises flags in orbital simulations. These show that the likelihood of an interstellar body passing that close to three major planets by chance is fewer than 1 in 20,000, and the surprises didn't end with its direction. Webb tracks subtle deviations in its speed and trajectory shifts to smooth to be gravitational alone. These changes matched the orientation of its CO plume, suggesting it might be exerting thrust, a known phenomenon in cometary science but rarely this measurable. This directional movement, coupled with a stable sunward-facing jet, suggested more than sublimation. It hinted at controlled acceleration. Webb wasn't simply observing a rock moving quickly, it was observing a body that appeared to be changing its trajectory as it traveled. The tale of three I, Atlas's journey involves more than just origin and destination, it's about interaction. It is passing through our solar system not aimlessly tumbling, but navigating with surprising precision, giving us only a short window to study, observe, and comprehend it before it vanishes forever into the darkness from which it came.